Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus Maurice Hooker has been announced for March the 20th. This fight of course will be on the zone, and in my opinion, this fight right here is another step in the right direction for Virgil Ortiz Jr. Along with Jerron Ennis, I see Virgil Ortiz Jr. as one of the standout prospects in the welterweight division. And I have to say, I've really enjoyed the way he's been matched in his career in the last year or so. It seems like he's being moved in the right direction. In his last four fights, he's fought Maurizio Herrera, Antonio Orozco, Brad Solomon and Samuel Vargas. And for a 22-year-old welterweight prospect... I think that's a respectable level of competition, and Maurice Hooker, right now, is a good fight for Virgil Ortiz Jr. Maurice Hooker, for starters, is pretty much in his prime at 31 years old. Of course, Maurice Hooker, also a former champion at 140 pounds. He's now moved up to 147. He's got one win in that division so far. He knocked out Uriel Perez, and he looks quite good doing it. You know, despite moving up in weight, Maurice Hooker is quite a big guy, at 5 foot 11, he's got a massive 80 inch reach, so this guy, you know, he's not like a small guy moving up, in reality, Maurice Hooker has always been a welterweight, but he's kind of boiled himself down to 140 pounds, so yeah, all in all, I think Maurice Hooker is quite a good opponent for Virgil Ortiz Jr. at this stage of his career, as a 22 year old, like I said, I think he's moving in the right direction, and very soon, I believe Virgil Ortiz Jr. will be ready to be let off a leash. I think he needs a couple more fights, and after that, I think he's pretty much ready to tell you the truth. I'm really impressed with what I see from this guy. I do see Virgil Ortiz Jr. as the premier prospect at 147 right now. You know, he's 22 years old, but he's got a wise head on his shoulders, speaks really well, takes the sport seriously. Stylistically, he's a boxer puncher with power in both hands. He's got good poise, good balance, great punch technique, very good finishing instincts. There's a lot to like about Virgil Ortiz Jr. And he's only going to get better at 22 years old. And like I said, Maurice Hooker is no slouch himself. He's experienced, former world champion. He's tall, he's rangy, he carries some sort of punching power. So in my opinion, this is a pretty good test. And this fight actually will go down in Dallas, Texas. Both guys are actually from Texas, so it's a bit of a local rivalry, a bit of a local showdown, and I'm assuming that this fight will actually have fans in attendance because the last few boxing cards in Texas have been populated with fight fans, which is great. You know, the no crowd boxing was interesting to start with, but I have to be honest, I much prefer fights with fans in attendance, even if you're not there, you know, you still get the feeling through the TV. It just feels better to me, um, quite frankly. But yeah, all in all, I think this is a pretty good step up for Virgil Ortiz Jr. And like I said, I believe this guy's being matched extremely well in the last year or so of his career. Like I said, he's fought Mauricio Herrera, Antonio Orozco, Brad Solomon, and Samuel Vargas in his last four fights. And to me, Maurice Hooker arguably is the best of that bunch. So he's stepping in the right direction. It's a good fight for him. And yeah, I'm expecting him to win, don't get me wrong. But you know, again, still a relatively good test at this stage of his career. And also it has to be said, you know, this fight actually, for as long as it lasts, should be relatively entertaining viewing. Because as we know, Virgil Ortiz Jr., boxer puncher, he's fairly aggressive, he goes for the knockout. And Maurice Hooker himself, you know, he's not exactly a guy who pussyfoots around the ring, sticking a jab out. He'll actually try and throw hurtful punches and knock you out. So, you know, stylistically, this should also gel for quite a fun fight while it lasts. So, yeah, all in all, I'm quite satisfied with this fight for Virgil Ortiz Jr. And again, I have to reiterate, to me, Virgil Ortiz Jr. is very close to being ready to fight the top welterweights in the world. I believe right now he's got enough to trouble all of these guys. But in a couple of more fights time, with more development, I'm telling you this guy is going to be a real, real threat in the welterweight division. You know, if you've not seen Virgil Ortiz Jr., where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? I highly recommend you check this guy out. To me, he is the best prospect in the welterweight division right now. And ultimately, 
one of the best prospects in the sport of boxing. But anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this fight? What do you make of this step up? Um, share your thoughts below. Being your guy, Del Boy. Peace.